Come on in, the door's open. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> so, I'm gonna assume you're going to use the special delivery joke every time you knock on my door now? <laughs> I never said it was bad. I think every time you visit me is special. Now, come on, get in here. <laughs> no, I wasn't really doing anything important. Just going through a couple puzzle books. <laughs> You're damn right I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to finish every single Sudoku puzzle if it's the last thing I do. Yes, I'm actually going to finish this one. <laughs> well, it's definitely going to be easier now that someone can't steal it all the time. Oh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. You never used to steal my puzzles and fill in half the blocks with the wrong numbers. <laughs> yes, you did. And it took me hours to set them all straight. care if I like a challenge. It was mean and you know it. Especially because you have no idea how to play Sudoku and you won't let me teach you. What? <gasps> it is not a grandma game. It is fun and challenging and it keeps your brain active. No, not because I'm a grandma. <gasps> I'm going to tell Celine you said that. Yeah, she loves Sudoku puzzles, and she calls them quite stimulating and engaging. <laughs> okay, so what if she also collects bottle caps? That is completely irrelevant. <sighs> well, speaking of which, uh, apparently Celine, Silas, and the others are still traveling abroad for the next couple weeks. Hmm. Well, she wouldn't really go into details with me, but she said that she will be returning shortly and she'll be sending word when she's on her way back. Well, I don't really want to think about what that could mean, so I am keeping my mind as busy as possible. Yeah, yeah, hence the Sudoku puzzles. You know, I tried telling Claire I could come in and do more financial work for the pack, but she's insisting I take days off, which is rich coming from her. I mean, didn't you find her asleep on her desk yesterday? And Ro mentioned that they caught her a couple times last week. But no, she insists that me, the vampire who doesn't actually need sleep to survive, is the one who needs a rest day. <laughs> and you know, since she's your sister, I think... You should be the one to talk to your alpha because she is an absolute hypocrite. Oh, no, just you. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it. Because Claire still scares me. <laughs> kind of, a little. And she does that thing where she praises me for all the work I'm doing, and then she makes me feel like I deserve to take a break, and that I deserve good things, and then she deflects and spins me around and makes me all confused, and it's really hard to convince her to do the same thing because I don't want to talk back to her when she's being so nice to me. <laughs> That's not helping. I know she's always been nice to me, but this is a new level of nice that I'm kind of still not used to? <sighs> she really said that? <sighs> I, I don't know about all that. That's... No, no, I... I believe you. I know she wouldn't say that if she didn't mean it. It's just nice to hear, you know? It feels nice to be appreciated, even though I 
I've never felt underappreciated by the pack. It's, it's just nice to hear from time to time. Um, but enough about Claire. I know she can handle herself, and she is not the only one who needs to have a talking to about rest days. Were you part of tonight's hunt? Oh, sweetheart, that's three hunts in a row. No, I, I know you're doing your best to keep the pack's inventory in check, but there's a rotation for a reason. I mean, I would know. I've been helping Claire make the schedules. You're too helpful for your own good, you know that? I'd be more mad at you about it if I didn't admire it. Um, I'm gonna assume there's still no sign of those hunters, huh? Well, you guys are all werewolves. Maybe you scared them off? I mean, there's no saying that the seer's vision can't be wrong. I mean, for all we know, the Thursday they were talking about, it's already passed and the fire didn't even happen. <sighs> but that's kind of wishful thinking, isn't it? <sighs> no, no, I... I want closure on that too, but if you guys are going to insist on having these hunts and patrols, then the least I can do is make sure that you take the proper rest afterwards. <laughs> well, I can't yell at your alpha, but I can yell at you, so <laughs> get over here. <laughs> Come on. On the bed. You are going to sleep, and I am going to finish my puzzles. <laughs> yes, you are going to sleep, because I am not going to talk to you. <laughs> no. No, this is me not talking to you, because I don't talk to people who don't sleep. Mm -hmm. That's my golden rule. You should know this by now. So, you better get your cute butt to sleep or else I'm never talking to you again. No, this does not count as me talking to you. No, neither did that. And ne neither did... Are you okay? You've got a look on your face. <laughs> that look. You know, that look you get when you want to ask me something, but if you ask me the something, it'll put you in an emotionally vulnerable state, and so you want to do everything in your power to avoid it. But you know that you can't, because if you did avoid it, it would make me sad once I found out about it, because I will find out about it. Mm -hmm, that look. You're hiding something from me. What is it? Come on, sweetheart, you can ask me anything. You know, except to give up sugar, because in that case, we are definitely going to have a problem. Um, sweetheart? Uh... Yeah, oh, okay. Um. Yes? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about it a couple months ago. You said you were really nervous about it. Are you still nervous? Because I haven't even thought about it since we mentioned it, so you don't have to worry. I mean, it's not like I'm waiting for you to give me an answer, I, I promise. Really? 
you'd really be comfortable with me biting you. You're absolutely sure. Because it's okay if you're still nervous about it. I don't mind wait, waiting. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, she did. Uh, Celine sat me down and gave me the whole feeding talk, which was really weird because it just reminded me of when my mom had the birds and the bees talk with me in middle school. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's still the, the second most humiliating moment of my life. <laughs> we don't talk about the first. You promised. You promised. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> don't tickle me. Stop! Stop! It's not. I want to take this seriously. <laughs> Half seriously, kind of. Celine and I talked a while ago, and she gave me all these written testimonies to read, and I, I think, I know what I'm doing. Maybe? Yeah, Celine said the same thing about my instincts kicking in, but so did my sixth grade gym teacher, and I still got pelted with dodgeballs. Um. Okay, maybe I'm still a little nervous myself. It's not that I don't want to, I. I do. This isn't just a date, or a kiss, or other stuff, which we've done plenty of, which I'm very happy with. This is feeding. This is me biting into your skin and drinking your blood and praying to God that my hunger pains don't make me drink you dry. And I know we've already discovered the whole numbing venom situation, but that doesn't mean I still can't hurt you. No, shifter or not, I am still stronger than you now. I don't know if I'd be able to forgive myself if I ever hurt you. I know you trust me. And I'm grateful for that. And I'm really happy that this is a decision we can make together. You're sure you're sure about this? The last time we brought it up, you seemed really hesitant. And you know I'm content with the blood stores that your pack provides. You're not obligated to give me blood just because we're together. I... <sighs> yeah. I believe you. Okay. Okay, then it's settled. Uh. Um. Now? Um. As much as I would love to, we have one small problem. I kind of ate this morning. Yeah. I am so sorry. I mean, you just made such a good speech, and that was really sweet, and if it was any other circumstance, I would be completely ready to just, you know, chomp on you. But I am so full. Oh my god, I'm the worst. Yes, I am the worst. No, you came over here trying to make this big, grand gesture of trust and romance, and I have to say no because I decided to stuff myself during the daylight hours. I am so sorry. 
Mm, don't kiss me, I'm pitiful. Yes, I am. I'm a pitiful destroyer of romance. Oh. Okay, well... When you put it like that, I guess it's fine. Maybe this is for the best? We can plan ahead so the next time I would have gotten any of the blood rations. We can try this. Yeah, I think I'd like that. It kind of makes me feel better knowing I have a little time to prepare. Um, do you think maybe I could talk to Claire about this? I, I know she's got like a million things on her plate and I just said that she had to take a break, but I mean, she studied to be an EMT, right? She'd know all about, you know, blood loss and arteries and everything. <laughs> I'd ask Celine again, but she's not here, and I know Claire would make sure I knew everything I needed to and then some, which I honestly kind of prefer. Um, are you sure? Uh, yeah, yeah, let me... Let me text her now. God, when was the last time I texted her? There she is. Mm. Do you guys have a pack meeting this weekend? I only make the schedules, I don't memorize them. Okay. And... Um... <laughs> no, I'm not debating whether to put emojis. Shut up. <laughs> you stop <laughs> looking over my shoulder. Let me text. Okay. No, I didn't sign the text. <laughs> there, we're done. Hopefully she can get back to me and we'll figure out a time to talk. So, uh... We're doing this. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little excited. I mean, from what Celine told me, the bite's kind of intimate. <laughs> and I don't mind being intimate with you. I mean, kind of the opposite. <laughs> hmm. What? Um... Honestly, I don't know how much different the blood's gonna taste. I mean, all I've had is the, the deer blood that Claire changes, but... I mean, Silas has mentioned a couple times that... Human blood is... Vastly superior. <laughs> Apparently it's different for every person, and every vampire has their particular tastes. Although I don't think it's based on, like, blood type or anything, but... <sighs> kind of excited to find out. As weird as it sounds. You don't think I'm weird? Mean. <laughs> You're so mean to me. <laughs> I can 
hear your heartbeat. I can. I mean, I, I can usually, but it's really faint. It kind of just fades into the background of everything else, but when we're this close, it's like I can feel it. Feels nice. Can you kiss me again? What? What's with that look on your face? <sighs> mm. No, I know that face very well. You know, with most of the court gone, we pretty much have the estate to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, my thoughts exactly. Mm -hmm.